below. We got Miss Wing, the filmer. We got this beautiful Yamasaki, Suzy. Oh, I don't know what it is. Good old DRZ, 8,000 miles. It's got some time on it. You know, little rub marks, little custom bent. It's good to go. It's ready for a carb upgrade. Hasn't been ran in about six months. He says, you know what, Miles will just upgrade the carb. Good friend of ours. And we're at their shop with Team Blackbird. They do uh, 24 hour races with the uh, Camaro. It's a 24 hours of lemons. It's a pretty cool event. A lot of guys do it. Check it out. Anyhow, back to the carb. All right, so this is what comes in the little package. So we've got a few things that come in this used package here. Nothing too uh, serious. It's pretty much ready to go. Jetted, set, ready to rip. Carbs all good to go. This is our used option. Uh, we've got the vacuum port nipple. Do that pet cock. Pet cock. So that's another option if you just want to eliminate your uh, vacuum port, which is pretty much just the. Uh, let's, I'll show you over here actually. So your stock pet cock, which is about $100 and pretty expensive. They go out a lot. There's a uh, vacuum for the CV carb. So this eliminates that, uh, especially if you have a desert tank, it's really easy to swap these um, and just more efficient. So. Yeah, and then also we have angle options as well. If you're coming down this way, you can go this way. We have one that's straight down and we have a 90 degree angle as well. The CDI, right? Oh man, it's, that's the brains. This is the brains of the operation, right? So yeah, just you can cut anywhere that's not the post. You, you know, if you look at any motocross bike nowadays, they've got as much airflow and then they have two by two or three by three inch holes on each side. So right. we're gonna cut this side too. So why don't we pop this off? A little 10 mil, you got it? Oh, we got the 10 mil right in there. The wall ready. It's kind of weird. I think it goes forward on this one. Might have to pull the tank off first. Yeah, it's just kind of like a weird. You see what I mean? It's got like a little hook on it. Oh, yeah. And then this whole side. I mean, unless you're doing water crossings, I would just cut it off. That's that's what we do. Um, if, you, if, if you're doing water crossings, maybe just do the top. You know, if you're, you live in Georgia, you want to go across. You never know what I'm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what no it's still filming it is Even yeah it's filming. dg do they still make dg i have no idea i haven't seen it for a while i think they do probably oh yeah just give it a nice wiggle not too bad It's too fast show, for you. Show them your trick. I, I, your see, I got a fucking long nail. So yeah, that's that's good. That's my you, trick. Yeah, show us what's up. You've only done like a thousand, I think. I've probably done, you know, 500, so you, you've got a few on Kind of push it down here with the screwdriver. Yep, a little tab. Up there, and then right that's off. it. Yeah, just get that screwdriver in there nice, and it will uh, push this little guy right here. Just make sure it's pushed down. Like you said, screwdriver is probably the best way. And so I want to get this loose, the 12 mil, and just kind of pop it up. And I'll loosen those because, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a ratchet. Ooh. Oh, man. It's like cheating. You got my 12 somewhere? The 12, I gave it back to you. We put it back in there. And then you're not going to need this boot anymore, so we're just going to pull out both sides. And uh, loosen them up. This bike's actually got some nice stuff. Usually, you know, these Phillips are nice and stripped when they're this old, but this bike's been handled by a professional mechanic. Go, sir. Yeah, I would just, just, yeah, give it a loose, and then we should be able to pop up the hole. Yeah. Go ahead, Katie. Give it your strength. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, so the back good enough? No, no. Well, you don't need to tighten it. I mean, well, usually what I do is I just pull it all the way up. But okay, well, you don't have to. No. 
Because then it gets the boot out of the way. Yeah, so you should be able to pull this up. Um, I'm loosening it still. Not all we lose. Well, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about all the wires and stuff. It just depends that's on That's why I was wondering how far can you go with yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I usually pull them, when they're brand new, I just pull them all the way up. Yeah, this is about the same. Yeah. So this is where the rectifier, you see, that's why you loosen it. Then it can just come up. But just remember to bring it back through before you put the carb on. Because if it gets stuck back there, it's not the easiest to put on. Yeah, that's good. That's loose enough. No, I, I tighten it. Oh, you're going to tighten it? So that way it doesn't fall back down. Oh, I usually just fold it all the way up, but you know what? Yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, wait. Okay, okay, that's wait. good. Keep it yeah, tight. No. It needs to be tighter. Oh, you're going tighter. All right. Let's try this route. I like this. That way you don't have to go all the way Well, back. some people rewire their stuff, and they may not be able to pull it all the way up like a new bike, so. They're tight and should stay. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's a good call right there. I like that. Left in her skirt. Okay. So, <laughs> Left in her skirt, so. Um, so whatever, whatever you think. So we just need to get that carb out. Oh, uh, throttle cables, probably loosen those first. You got the TPS disconnected. Yeah, let's just do the throttle cables. So we're just take the top 10 uh, screws yeah, off? Yeah, I think, yeah, it should be uh, Yeah, just take the top two tags. No, just the uh, just right here, these two guys. Let me check it out. The two uh, top tens. Yeah, and then they can just slide and then you just pop these out. And they just slide right there in the little opening. Katie, why don't you uh, point out this really cool upgrade right here? This is limited edition. I mean, you know, you, you can't just buy this. You have to make it. Go down to your Yamaha dealership. I know this is this is tough for Suzuki owners, but <laughs> it's, it's like the best of both worlds. And you see what he did over here. Yeah, you, you know, a couple, couple little drill holes. No big deal. Pretty simple, actually. So you can do this on any bike. Everybody does it. Probably old news for a lot of people, but hey, it's fun. Put any fender you want on there. I'd probably put a new Kawasaki fender. I like the new Kawasaki. It's a 2019 Kawis. They just got like a really fat look to them. It matched the rear fender pretty well. And I don't know if you can get it in blue, but I'm sure you can. Team blue. I like it. Definitely get it in black. Spray paint. Spray paint. Yeah, boy. Like, hey, that's what uh, Johnny Campbell used to do with this front fender. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I like the stock zip ties all set up. These are reusable. Yeah, these zip ties, they just come off just like that. Uh, can you hold my beer real quick? Yeah. <laughs> you can talk. They just come off like so. You just, you just pull that little tab up. And we'll just bring them back down. So yeah, just pull the carb off and... Cable's off, that's it, right? Yeah. Pretty simple on this one. That's okay, we don't need that. It's a beauty. It's a boy or a girl? Oh, it's a boy. It's a boy? It's a girl. Oh, it's a, oh, oh, it's a girl. I couldn't, I couldn't Go see back it. to school. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so, as you can see, got a little bit of a size difference here. And uh, like I said, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be easy to get it in. But that's why we've spent so much time and money to make sure that when you put it in one time, it's done. So this one's pre-jetted, ready to rock. This is exactly how it'll come to you. So the hot start is blocked off with a titanium plug. TPS is an adjustable uh, setup for the uh, throttle position sensor. We've got a uh, fuel air screw. It's all set for you, but based on how much you cut the air box, how many miles you have, all that fun stuff, you will need to adjust this and you will need to adjust your idle. It's your idle right here. The best way to adjust these two, and I'll show you later in more depth, is adjust this a half turn, hit the throttle. Adjust this a half turn, hit the throttle. Don't do too many adjustments. You want a nice low idle. And then you set in the fuel air screw, and that's really where you're gonna get the nice consistent idle. If you get a hanging idle and then it drops back down, it's your fuel air screw. 
You really want to set this as low as possible right here on your idle. And that's that. So obviously you got your choke right here. It's a short throw choke. It's what you need to fit on this bike. Comes with every single kit we sell, new or used. This is our ghetto adapter, some people call it, but I call it the power adapter because we smoke everybody with 440 kits. It don't matter what other kind of kit you have. We're running 178 to 200 main jets. There's just more flow of fuel with this kit. That's why we spent so much time and money. We have an engine dyno. Everything you need to make this kit perfect, we have done it. So hopefully this video helps. All right, let's get catch cans. You got the uh, radiator catch can, you got the oil catch can here, and you can see this one got disconnected. Make sure you keep these catch cans uh, you know, assembled and, and on your bike, because when you're doing extreme wheelies or any kind of wheelies, it will not get any kind of oil on your rear tire. If you got any kind of motocross bike, it will put oil on your rear tire when you're doing 12 o'clock wheelies for a long time. So that's what's great about these bikes. They're very reliable, they run forever, and if you do this carb kit, you should be able to pull the front end up at 70 miles an hour on the freeway. So it does everything you need it to do, and that's why this kit's so popular. All right, so those are some good notes. You can say just tighten the top uh, 12 millimeter. Just tighten it down so you can put it wherever you feel comfortable. You don't need to take the subframe all the way off. You got too many wires, no need to take it off. So just tighten it right there. That's, that's, a, that's a good trick, so. All right, well, um, oh, one more thing. Come over here on the other side. Uh, your oil catch can. A lot of people just block these off, but we'll just, we're just gonna take it off, just the bolt, eight mil, it's usually a 10, and uh, just, just give it room so when the carb's in there, you'll have more room to move. This is the ghetto way. So what are we gonna do with this catch can? We're just gonna loosen it? Yeah, just loosen it, just so it gives it room to move when it's, yeah, just take off the bolt. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. So there's one thing I have to talk about with the back support. You don't go with the uh, petcock option, which you can do a petcock if you'd like. The vacuum port, you can still use it. So what that would do, if you have your stock petcock, you put it in the bottom part of your cylinder head, just scrolls right in. There's a, a little brass fitting, keep it on right there. And then there's a three inch hose we supply that goes right to your stock petcock and it goes behind. Why don't we, where's that stock petcock? Where is it? It's on the stock tank probably. Yeah? So check this out, Katie. So you see this little thing? Okay, you just put the hose. So you're just connecting the three inch hose to here, to here. We're not gonna do that because we, we don't wanna, you know, buy another $100 stock petcock. Cause this one went bad. It, it floods the cylinder. There's a lot of issues that they have with them. Personally, I've never had a problem with them. So I think they're fine if you have a brand new bike, but if you have an older bike, yeah. We'll just include this, uh, you know, Keenan Petcock. These are brand new from Japan. They're gonna last you about five to seven years. You don't have to do anything. That's true, <laughs> that's true. So I usually use Simple Green, but WD-40 I think might be easier. And uh, you know what? We'll, we'll try it out and we'll see what happens. So anything rubber, if you can get some uh, lubrication in there to, to help you fit this thing, you will need it because it is a tight fit and you do not want to take this carb off again. So you want to do it first time, right time. And Alex, just so you guys know, he uh, he works on pretty much anything mechanical the last, what, how long have you been doing this? 20 years? Long time. Long time, so I trust him. I trust him in his work. Works on all my race trucks that I jump off road, and I, I believe him. So, all right. So I, I really think that we should get the carb in there, like so. GPS. I want to smush it. So it's uh. What were we thinking? Clamp. Oh, uh, you're gonna use the the clamps that I just supply over here. So we can we can show that. So. Usually what I do is I just unscrew them all the way and wrap them around. Metallica's getting me going. Hold this. Gotta listen to Ozzy's bone yard when you're on this shit. That's right. Mm. When we go do our 24 hour races, this is what, this is what we hear. Octane, turbo. Got to, you know, got to pay for them satellites. Yeah, we might as well just tighten this side down, yeah? Uh, fly ahead. 
sir. So I just give it a tighten. And you do want these pretty tight. I mean, don't be afraid to tighten them. And there's also a six millimeter on the outside. So if you really want to crank them down, you can always use a six mil. Edit. Say this again. Don't say crank it down. People are gonna, they're gonna break those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So don't 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 crank it. Crank Just it. A, uh, my my idea of cranking is based on what size the bolt is, right? Make sure they're nice and snug. Snug. Snuggles. Well, you can only do so much with a Phillips. I mean, a flathead. So with a flathead, you're pretty much good. But if you get the if you get the uh, the snap on, you know, half inch battery power, you probably snap this shit in half, huh? It's an expensive subject. So we are back with Moto, Lance, Doug, and the guy does not want to be on camera, so we won't film him. Just just his sexy body. And uh, okay, so what? We have decided, so on this one, I think we should uh, put the on the bottom, just the same way you got it. Just put it. Like that. So we'll put one facing up, one facing down, so you can get to it nice and easy, because it gets pretty tight up here by the front, or the top motor mount. So, uh, yeah, so you want to put both these on before you get it on. The only thing is, make sure this is loosened all the way, because it's going to get tight on here, and it's going to be kind of wanting to, uh, you know, creep on here and not... Uh, get all the way on the on the mount. So these are very important. You want to make sure you take your time and get perfect clampage. All right. Break. Break. Beer break. Oh. Modelos. We got we got lit. We got Modelo. Modelos. Lit. Modelos. Carta Blanks. Modelos. And to kids. Kids. Blackbird. So what I was asking. Yeah. So I was, let's do the rear. We we'll got the 12 millimeters loose. Is there any carburetor that's fun to put on a bike? I mean, even two strokes are not fun. Yeah, uh, XR75. Oh, okay. okay. Two six millimeter. Yeah, that's true. The, the manifold is just a little bit of rubber and just metal. 26. Boom. Go ride. Piece of cake. Like Larry says, on change the change oil. Like change, like change the carburetor on a generator or a water pump. <laughs> so simple. Seriously? Yeah, or not. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. Alright, what do you got? What? Uh, you good? You got a new dig? You're selling a full bike now? Or... Got that. You want to make sure? Got the front one on first. <laughs> It's the shock side of that boot you want to make sure it gets on there. That's the whole problem with this kit. The there shock any? side? Yeah. Oh, any... I wanted to use a pick. Yeah. So we got a pick over here. Try it. Pixel here. Oh yeah, that's that's the way to do it. The pick tools, what's up? Show them that tool. Hey, we're at the dentist right now. Got it wrapped around, but yeah. Does it go? Doesn't go over this, does it? What? Doesn't go over that. Is that no, it? No, no, you're perfect. You're on it, dude. I'm already on. Good, good call. All right, let's make sure we let's let's so let's clamp that down. All right, so we're putting on some new throttle cables that are come with the kit. So full throttle housing, cable, tube assembly. Uh, they are just two different sizes uh, threads here. So you got a, uh, I want to say it's a five and a six millimeter thread. So make sure you get the cable on the right side so it can fit that thread. It only goes on one way. It's a little bit of a hassle once you get it. It'll work properly. It's best to test it off the bike before you get to put it on. That way it's uh, not such a hassle if it has an issue. Before you install the new cable setup, best to just check out the routing that you got going on here. As you can see, these stock 
uh, zip ties right here. You can just pull this little knob right there and reuse these. A lot of Japanese bikes use this. And then pull it from the cable all the way through and then put your throttle housing on first. That way you don't have to uh, take this off again. Depending on which kind of ergonomics you got here, this isn't a stock assembly here. But regardless if it is or not, this is just a spacer right here to uh, you know, give it so it's not hitting the end of the grip. You can always cut these down, it's not a problem. Cut it uh, as you see fit. So as you can see, barely see the end of that pro taper, just got like a quarter inch right there. I just cut it down, use some uh, sheet metal shears right here, nothing special. And you can tell it just fits right there, that way it doesn't have any kind of friction. It's a nice smooth pull. Alright, the best way I see fit to do these cables is right in front of the headlight. Straight it down, keep them on this side, make sure to keep them below the gas tank as far as you can down in there. Above your, make sure that can go right there. That way the gas tank is still fit in there nicely because they will pinch the gas tank if they're not put in right. Right there should be good. And as you can see, that's the adjustment I have. They're pretty tight. So, I wanna make sure this cable has a little bit of play. That's the main thing. This is just a safety cable. Also, if your uh, throttle is sticking, you see how close it is to the frame right there? If the plastic cover is hitting the wheel, it won't come back all the way. And the reason why is it's not in there completely straight. So there's a few things you can do. If you can't get it perfect, you can just cut the plastic internal, which I'll show you right now. Or you need to go through and, and tighten it all down again and pull it away from the frame. That's the way I do it. All right, so there's two ways. There's probably 10 ways, but two ways I'm suggesting <laughs> today is a circular hole saw, like so. It's probably like a inch and a half. And there's the, what do you call this, cutoff saw? Yeah. So this will be to get all the areas that are a little harder to get to. Either way it works, but the idea of it is to get this top as much as you can open. See, we kind of traced it. And then the side, pretty much as much open as possible. If you're gonna do any kind of water crossings, just keep it up to here and above. You can cut just like any other normal dirt bike with uh, grab holes. All right, a couple of tuning tips and tricks in case yours doesn't just idle and uh, set perfectly. Right. 
bird. I like it. She should breathe now. And for bikes with the EVAP system still installed, pretty much any stock bike, 09 and up in all countries. And in some countries, it's even um, go back to 2000. So pretty much what you're doing is this is your a, uh, vent hose. And this is the pretty much like your uh, one way, like you would on the top of a normal motorcycle be up here. So if you go right here, you can see this guy plugging in right here. On the other side of this, you'll run it between the swing arm and the frame, pretty much that pivot bolt right here, with all the other hoses that we supply. The black hoses, you would just run it right there, zip tie it together, and it's pretty much just your breather hose for your gas tank since you don't have one on the um, key on the top. So that's how it works. So it comes out right here. All right. So the canister back here, you can completely eliminate, save some weight, empty it out, put your registration in there and whatnot. It's always an option. Also, on 18 and newer, at least in the USA and older for older countries, you can completely eliminate this. And for this section right here, there is a block off plate for about $13 that you can order. Most of our customers, and personally ourselves, we just cut it right here and put a, a rubber grommet to cover this. So there's not much heat. There's nothing that really comes from performance to block this off. It's pretty common on any cylinder head with this kind of system. But majority of them just cut it and put a rubber grommet to cover it at any AutoZone local store. You can get that. Pretty sure it's a 12 millimeter or half inch. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but I can get you the exact um, rubber grommet if needed. Just go in our comment section and we will handle it. All right, if there's any more questions, feel free to uh, send us a, a comment, line, however you want to do it. Let's just uh, make sure that everyone can figure this kit out because we will definitely do another install video if needed, but I wanted to get the majority of it. Uh, we learn a lot from you guys and the customers because it's easy for us to install these things. We never have a problem, but our customers always have a uh, question and comments, and that's that's what we like to see is is you know everyone being able to understand this kit because the more people that can understand it, the more that feel comfortable buying it, and the more guys who can do wheelies in fourth year like us. So, uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do.